Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to another new vlog. Thank you for joining me once again. I've come back to my local park again, Sutton Park, um, and I've come back to a spot that I come to fairly regularly, but surprisingly I haven't been here for a little while now, so I thought I'd come back and have a, another couple of shots here. Um, just behind me is uh, Bracebridge Pool, and on the pool itself there's an island out in the middle of the pool, just somewhere about here. Um, and I've decided that I wanted to come back here and reshoot that on a sunny day and today is quite a sunny day as you can tell from these pictures um, but uh, when the sun shines quite brightly like this it really catches that island out on the lake and lights up the, uh, the grass on the top of the island and the trees and really looks lovely when the sun's out so I wanted to capture a couple of shots of that um, I've done that now, but interestingly on the way here I've uh, bumped into my old friends the Exmoor Ponies as well. Um, I've only got a couple of compositions in mind at this location and I'll have to walk back the way I've come. So I'm probably going to bump into those Exmoors once again on the way back. If I do I'll try and get some film footage of them, but it's always nice to see them fellas. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you like these couple of images that I've got here. I'm going to move a few yards along the side of the lake and see if there's a composition there that I think there possibly is. Um, it looks like there is from standing here, but um, I'll have to go and make sure. So I'm going to go and take that one as well. Okay, well that was quite interesting. I've um, just walked over to this little spot here, probably about 50 yards or so from where I was just standing. Um, behind me you'll see just a little bit of log, just on the edge of this lake here, right at the front of the lake, which kind of looks out into the middle of the lake towards the island behind. And if I can get that composition just right, that's going to look quite interesting. I'm going to have to get quite low down, so I've got this piece of log here right in the forefront of the image um, and that will make that appear slightly bigger it will also have the effect of drawing the island itself a little bit closer to the image um, and that could be quite inter an interesting one I'd like to shoot a long exposure as well so I can really flatten out this water there's one or two ripples in it um, usually caused by a little bit of a breeze and undercurrents of the water and also the ducks that you might be able to hear that are constantly swimming around on this lake. So I'll take this shot and see if it works. But my one big concern is the sun that I was just talking about a few minutes ago has suddenly disappeared behind a bank of cloud. I want that to stay behind that bank of cloud because it's going to ruin the exposure if I start shooting a long exposure and halfway through the sun comes out all of a sudden. So I'm hoping that that big bank of cloud will just keep the sun obscured for long enough for me to take this shot. Well, wouldn't you just know it, the sun wouldn't stay behind that bank of cloud, as you can tell from the pictures of my face at the moment. But um, I'm going to head back now. I've taken two shots. Uh, I can't decide which I prefer of the two long exposures that I've taken. I've taken one at 60 seconds and one at um, two minutes. Um, and I'm not exactly sure which of those I prefer. But I've said previously in other vlogs when I'm taking shots, if I'm not sure whether the portrait or the landscape orientation is the best, I always take both anyway. And then have a look when I get them back onto the computer screen at home and decide then which I prefer. And that's the same in this case, I'm not sure which exposure time I prefer, so I've taken the two shots. But now I'm going to go back to where I was at the very start of this vlog. Um, while I was stood there and I looked over towards where I wanted to be for these images, these long exposures, I uh, noticed there was another composition through the trees there, um, and that looked quite good. The only issue I've got with it is where I was standing as you look through the trees, right slap bang in the middle of the image, there's a life boy, big bright red thing, which is obviously in the way of the image. It's not too much of a problem because I can remove that in the editing suite afterwards. 
So I'm going to go back and take that shot. Um, but just as I'm talking now, there's a possibility I might not be able to get it and I'll explain why in just a moment. So I've moved back to a little way back from where I was. Um, and I've just noticed, just as I was about to walk away from that spot, that a uh, chap came along with two kids and a dog. Um, and it looks as though they're standing in exactly the spot in the image where I wanted to take that shot. Um, that's perfectly all right. I can wait a few minutes for them to make a move. But um, obviously I don't want to be getting in their way. And I don't really want them to be in my shot. And also... I don't want them thinking that I'm taking photos or videos of them. Um, it's not fair on anybody really. So I'm just going to wait it out for a little while and see if they move on. If they don't, I can always come back to this spot in a little while. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and take this shot. And then I'll head off and see if I can get some more footage of those Exmoor ponies a little way along the path. So I hope you enjoyed that image I did, eventually managed to get the shot that I wanted. Um, those guys did uh, move out of the way slightly, but um, they weren't completely out of the way. And every time I set up ready to take the shot, they just wandered back into the frame again. So uh, I had to wait a little while. And then of course the uh, sun decided it was going to creep behind some of the trees again, and um, behind uh, a cloud again. Um, and so the uh, image was very flat, there was no light in it really. Um, so again I had to wait a little while until the sun came out from behind the clouds again and bathed the area in light. But what I've done is shot through these trees here um, back towards the spot where I'd been standing before and I've focused on the uh, tree roots somewhere about the centre of the image um, and shot with an f16 aperture so hopefully I've got most of the image acceptably in focus. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the shot. I was hoping to try and capture some of the uh, sunlight dappling through the trees onto the ground. I think I've managed to do that. I think I've got a decent exposure. So I'm going to move on now because I've got one more shot that I'd like to take. And in order to get it, I might have to walk back past where those Exmoor ponies were. Um, so hopefully, if they're still there, I'll get some video footage of those as well. But if not, I'll just go and get the last image that I've seen. Okay, so this is my next composition. Um, it's one I wasn't really expecting to find today, but it's uh, an area that I walk through quite regularly and I've never actually turned back and looked at this particular shot before for some reason. What you'll notice here, as we look at the image, you've got some tree roots on the ground here that leads you through the path going through this area here. And then on the right-hand side of the image, you've got this conifers here which are obviously very tall and slim and then on the left hand side of it you've got this tree here which is completely bare obviously it's still only April so this hasn't um, sprouted any of its leaves or anything yet but these here are obviously evergreens and what happens is these branches at the bottom of these conifers kind of stick out on the right hand side of the path across towards the left hand side pointing towards this tree here and this tree here, the branch also comes across towards the right hand side and almost reaches out to those conifer branches. So you've got a natural framework through the image which goes around this path here. So I'm following these roots here towards the path and you've got the framework of the trees around the edge of that which looks quite interesting. So I'm going to set that up and take that shot now. There was a very slight natural slope in that image um, and I didn't want to remove it completely from the image because it does kind of tell a little bit of the story of the image itself. It's something I hadn't really noticed as I was setting up the composition until I was about to take the shot um, and I just kind of slightly recomposed it so that I could make sure I captured that slight slope as well. What I'd actually done was set the camera up so that I'd straightened that slope and it looked just like a piece of flat surface um, and I didn't really want to do that because like I say it was part of 
the image to keep that. So that's the final image folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's vlog um, and I've certainly enjoyed being out and about again. So uh, I've made a couple of um, channel announcements in my last vlog. If you haven't seen the vlog I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video but also I shall leave the information of the two announcements in the description box of this video so if you're watching this one now take a look at the description and uh, you might be able to get involved in something quite interesting in the future um, but that's it from me for today folks thanks for watching as always i've enjoyed your company and i look forward to seeing you again on another vlog very soon bye for now